Now, Ideogram have recently released a new game-changing update. And as you know, it's one of my favorite tools to create outstanding covers and coloring pages for Amazon KDP. Now, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through this new update as well as comparing it to the previous versions as well so you can see the difference and providing you with free prompts that you can use to create your own outstanding covers as well. So if you are new to Ideogram, it is pretty simple to use. I have got various other videos on how to use mid journey, but simply you just come to the top where you can type in your prompt here. Then it's got a few areas to the side where you can have the magic prompt on or off that basically just enhances your uh, initial prompt. Then we've got the aspect ratio, which you can choose the visibility. We've got the different models. As I said, the new update is actually to a which is the fastest um, and then the usual version is 2.0 with the new 2a actually you don't have access to the other color palette and a few other tools but you do have access to the rendering and the seed number and then with the 2.0 you can see you've got access to the color palette and the rendering the seed number and the negative prompt as well but this video will be comparing the 2a and the 2.0 so I started off testing version 2A with coloring books, especially with the hugely popular, bold and easy coloring book niche, the one by one size. And you can see some of the covers here. The first covers is a play on the little corner coloring book by Coco Wyo, instead I've called mine Tiny Corner. And you can see some of the covers here. And I think those are really outstanding. I really like all the, the features, especially within the covers, as you can see here. And I think it's come together really well. You can also actually see the prompt here. So if you want to pause it at any time and copy it and create something for yourself, feel free to go ahead. But I was really pleased with the outcome of all of these covers. Then just to compare these covers to the version two, you can see actually here on the screen. So you can see these here. I actually probably prefer the version 2A. I don't think the colors came out quite as well here. And even on the fourth cover here, we actually don't see the title or subtitle anywhere. So I'll probably say the version 2A wins with this one just because the way all the covers kind of really stand out. The illustrations are really spectacular. And I think if you put that cover on Amazon, it would actually do really, really well. So the next thing I tried was the Sweet Things coloring book, the cute and groovy coloring book. And I think all of these actually came out really nice. My fourth one is the favorite. I think that would do really well on Amazon and really stands out. So we can take a look at the prompt here. As I said, feel free to copy and paste that and pause it at any time. And just comparing these covers actually to the version two, we can take a look at these covers here. Again, I'll probably go with the version two A. I just think the colors come out a lot more. However, these are a lot more consistent. I would say they're quite similar. However, with the version 2A, a lot of them, three of these are similar. I think this fourth one here is a bit different. And as the 2A is just that little bit faster, you're not always going to get that kind of consistent pattern with all of your covers. There is going to be a little bit of differentiation, but I'm quite happy with the 2A so far. So the third bold and easy coloring book idea I wanted to test out with this C scene is probably more targeted towards younger kids, but I really like the illustrations around the title and the subtitle. I do think these are really attractive and colorful designs. You can take a look at the prompt just here, which is a vibrant ocean themed book cover with a playful and a bold art style. The light blue background features wavy patterns, bubbles, and and small flowers, various sea creatures and shells are illustrated in a cute cartoonish style, including a tropical, uh, a starfish, a hermit crab, a stingray, a jellyfish and colorful seashells. The title Sea Scene Bold and Easy Coloring Book is displayed in a yellow, large, rounded typography, enhancing the fun and approachable feel of the design. So that's come out really well and I'm pleased with that. 
And if we compare that to version two, I still think the 2A wins overall. However, these are some really nice covers too, but I just like how the version 2A has just been able to have that distinction of the sand and the sea and all the illustrations have really come out quite well. However, with the this the version two a few of the illustrations haven't really come out too well and i'm not too sure what a few things are in the image so again 2a takes the win next i wanted to try something a little bit different so this size is two by three so these kind of 8.5 by 11 coloring books now the design i went for was the stress free coloring book so we can see how the 2a first came along and i think these designs came out really well the cover does look quite unique you've got uh, a big mushroom there in the middle then you got flowers around it as well and i've seen similar covers to this do quite well on amazon however i think this would stand out above the rest of them now for the prompt here you can just take a look at that here and feel free to pause it but then just Comparing these covers to version 2, I still think 2A takes the win. It's got a lot of these mushrooms upside down, so I'm not really too sure what happened there. But I do like cover number 4. I think that looks quite good, but I still think overall 2A takes the win. So I wanted to stick with the similar theme of stress-free coloring books. So another coloring book that's doing really well on Amazon is the 101 Calmness coloring book. So I tried to create a similar design to this and just called it the 99 Calmness coloring book. I'd say from here was when I started having a few issues with the two a when we'll compare it to version two in a second but we can see all of the designs here for some reason the third and fourth design have wheels at the end but i still think these came out okay it has a lot of text on it but these can just simply be erased in a canva or even in ideogram itself if you have the paid version so we can take a look at the prompt which you can just see here and feel free to pause it. And let's quickly compare these covers to version two. So you can see these covers here. My favorite is probably the first one here or the fourth one. I think those would look like really interesting and eye-catching designs on Amazon and quite unique from anything that's on there. So that just shows the, the capability of this tool, the various types of covers and designs that it's really able to do. And I've got even more designs to show you. So next, I wanted to go away from the coloring book niche and maybe just test 2A out and see what it can do with journal covers so a type of journal that's really popular on amazon is prayer journals so the next cover i tried to test out was this prayer journal for women and i specifically wanted a type of handwritten prompt with a floral design and you can really see the covers that is created here a lot of the text are quite right as well because i wanted a longer subtitle however in the first one it hasn't done the subtitle but i still think these are some really nice designs and you can take a look at the prompt just here I'll mention this. So a beautiful design, a book cover with a chalkboard style background and elegant hand letter and typography. The title prayer journal for women is written in a flowing artistic script with a subtitle highlighting a 12 week scripture, devotional and guided prayer journaling. The border is adorned with intricately drawn flowers and greenery in soft muted tones creating a delicate and a peaceful aesthetic. The overall design conveys a sense of spir spirituality, reflection, and inspiration. So I think these came out fantastic. Comparing this to version two, these covers still look quite good as well, but I just think version 2A overall takes it. I do like the fourth cover here, but overall I still would go with these covers from version 2A.
A. So next I wanted to try a gratitude journal for kids, another hugely popular niche, but I wanted to try to create a cover that would stand out. So we can see a few covers here. My favorite is probably the third one or the fourth one is not too bad, but I really think the third one would do quite well. Again, it's a really colorful, bright, eye-catching design. And we can see the prompt just here as well. So feel free to pause it. However, if we compare these covers to version two, I'm not a huge fan of these covers. I think they're quite boring and quite plain. There's nothing that really stands out about these. However, they're not terrible. However, I really want my covers to stand out and I think 2A just does a much better job of that. So next I wanted to try activity books. These are some of my favorite books to create and that do the best for me. So firstly, I wanted to just try a space type of coloring book with the title being Blast Off. And here are some fun creative designs probably the first would be my favorite but let me know which one you like the most and you can see the prompt here but let's compare this to a version 2 and we can see some of the covers here again I massively prefer version 2a I think the covers are much better and the illustrations are a lot better here so 2A takes the win again. And next, I wanted to try a sports car activity book cover. So we can see the designs here. I think the designs are really high quality and stand out. And you can take a look at the prompt just here. But let's compare these covers to version 2. And for me, I would actually say version two takes the win here. I really like the first and the second cover. I think they would really stand out on Amazon and it's just a really bright and engaging design. So this is the first time probably version two takes the win, but let me know what you think. So going back to version 2a, I really wanted to test out its full capability and try something different, more high content books. So I wanted to test out some cookbook covers and really see what creative designs it could do. So first I tried some air fryer cookbook covers and these came out okay. I wouldn't say these would really stand out. Maybe the, the third or the fourth ones are not too bad but I wouldn't say these covers would a shout out to you on Amazon now if you want to see this prompt I've got it here for you to view but let's just compare it to version 2 we can take a look at these covers here I'll probably take 2a overall but let me know what you think in the comments then I also wanted to try some Mediterranean cookbook covers and we can see these next. These designs do look really interesting and appealing. However, I'm not too sure what happened with the text on a lot of these covers, so they didn't come out too great. I think with 2A, the more that you really try to have a lot more text, then you do start to see a few errors. So across here, especially with cover two and three, the titles were incorrect, but I still really like these covers. I think it's done a good job at making these attractive. And if you want to see the prompt, it's just here for you to view. But let's see how version two did. And we can see the covers just here. I would say overall 2A takes the win, but the titles all here are correct. So you can see what I mentioned about the text, however, the subtitles aren't correct. Finally, I wanted to test out and see what the 2A could do with coloring pages. So first I started off doing some quote pages and here only really the third and the fourth design really implemented what I want. The rest have color, even though I specifically put coloring page within the prompt. But you can take a look at the prompt just here and you can pause it. However, let's compare these to version two. And you can see here with version two, 
at least all the images are as a coloring page. However, the first and the second would be difficult to color in, but the third and the fourth would be good coloring pages. So it's really up to you which one you would prefer. Then I also tried another quote coloring page. Again, I just wasn't able to get what I really wanted with version 2a. However, with version 2, it was able to implement this. So we can see some of the coloring pages here. The third one again is in color, but one, two, and four at least are good quote coloring pages. Then next, I just wanted some normal coloring pages that I wanted to test out. And we can see here, these are some nature coloring pages. However, the first, second, and the fourth image, I did come out as coloring pages, and these don't look too bad as well. However, there's a lot of things here that I don't really understand, just things popping out. So it's not really a great coloring page, but you can see the prompt right here on the right hand side. But comparing this to version two, we can take a look at some of the coloring images and we can see number three and especially four here the images aren't great again there's a lot of things that would just make it a lot of work to clean up so it wasn't too great with the nature coloring pages so next i wanted to test out just a tropical coloring page which you can see here image one and four are coloring pages and they look quite good. However, two and three have color. And then you can see the prompt just to the right hand side here. But if we take a look at version two, we can see actually coloring pages two and only two really have no color. The rest have color. So, so version 2a did the better job and then finally i just wanted a simple bold and easy coloring page with fruits however i wasn't able to get that image at all with any of the images but you can see the prompt here to the right hand side and we can take a look at how version 2 did at least in the first image we get the coloring pages Although I would say overall with version 2a and 2, it didn't really come out great with coloring books. But again, feel free to test this out and try to get the best coloring pages for yourself. So let me know your thoughts about a lot of the covers that I've created within Ideogram. I've really been impressed with the quality and I think you'd have to pay a freelancer quite a lot of money to get similar designs, but that's the benefit of using AI tools like this. I wish I had a tool like this very early on when I started Amazon KDP because the quality and the images that you can get are really outstanding and will really actually separate your covers from others. So thanks for watching another video and share your comments below.